Hello, this is Ronnie. Again, I'm here with a short clip taken from a long video, 80 minutes video that I just finished to record for my subscribers. This time the clip is focusing on the precious metals in US dollars as well as in yen. I would like to mention that I open again the special offer concerning my services at 50% off for the first year. I will be provided, providing more information as I said after the clip ends. If you're interested, I'll be happy to talk to you again. Other than that, I wish you have a great weekend and great trading week ahead of us. Bye now. This is uh, the chart of silver priced in US dollars with a recent action, negative action in the gold and silver. Some of you probably are giving up on the potential for a reversal. I would say hold on just a bit longer. It is not totally decided as far as I can see by Mr. Market that uh, the potential for a reversal is dead. Don't forget the seasonality. The seasonality kicks in uh, roughly for mid-December pulling the precious metals in the last 20 years on average, pulling it higher by 6% over um, the rest of December, January, February. Okay, so that's the seasonality. The patterns that I see in gold stocks, gold funds, silver stocks, silver funds, the patterns and the price action is looking very promising, very bullish. Uh, I don't see any reason to abandon the bull in a big way. Uh, if we get further decline in gold and silver, I will examine exactly the pattern that I think we should use. But I'm not, uh, as a bull, I'm not throwing in the towel and saying, uh, that's it, it's all over with this uh, false, another false bounce in the precious metals, because I think it is premature uh, to conclude that. Okay, so that, that's the monthly. And... Um, in case silver continues down for another three weeks or five weeks without breaking the low here, it just muddles through here and there is zero doubt in my mind that the decline in silver and gold so far is showing all the characteristics of uh, corrective price action. It is composed of a bunch of ABC separated by an X, axes and uh, what can I say? We don't have really an impasse wave building up there unless I'm completely missing something. So this is encouraging, uh, but that does not stop gold and silver from um, going lower. They could definitely continue lower, uh, just ex extending that corrective move, uh, taking, taking, for example, silver down under 15, etc. But this will be the key, okay? The, uh, the flow that you see marked here by the move line, that will be absolutely the key. Uh, if it does continue down, the preferred reading would be an A, B, C, D, E in this manner. Uh, if it stops, let's say this week, Monday, Tuesday, the decline is over and a silver start uh, looking up, then we are going to see what will be the right wave count to apply in that case. As you look here, you see this is taken as one, two on the weekly. This is taken as three and this is taken as four. And I don't see any problem right now with continuing to treat this as a one, two, three, four. And I will try to open it so that you can see where is the 50 moving average, which is very important in many, many charts that you work with, especially on the weekly. You always want to have the 50 moving average and you can see where it is. The price is still above. And uh, the price also above the, the, the move line here, which counts this as one, okay, this level. So no problem. That's, an, that's a one, two, that's three. And this is simply an ABCD uh, unfolding here, ABCD designed to scare the hell out of the bulls and get them out of the way to dilute the, yeah, to uh, vacate the train before the train takes off. And the express train is going to be express train, okay? So try to get as many passengers off the train so that the train is light enough to really to take off or the rocket or whatever you want to uh, imagine here. Okay, everything is looking nice, but I will have to make serious modification to the wave count should it break through this level. At that point, there are two options that will pop up. Either this is playing out its first wave, that second. Uh, in that case, I think it's really looking like uh, it has no business breaking 15.6.
okay breaking at 15.6 then we have to resort to the other option over the longer term that what we are witnessing here is an e lag okay and an e lag of course can be composed of many abc separated by axes etc so that is the general picture for um for silver and uh, that's the daily with a b c d and that's the elag and of course there is the alternative reading that says all of this is an a that's a b and this is a c where you have witnessed here one two three four and that's the fifth leg okay as it says right now there could be further push but as you can see the room for going lower is um is um really not much very very uh, not much space is left here for the price action uh, in order to preserve the likelihood that this is a full wave. Yeah, it mustn't break through that. And uh, you can see the 200 coming up, actually lining up with that level of support. Yes, um, so it's very simple. If we see silver recovering, and we, let's say within three trading days, five trading days, it's back there, above 17.3. Take it that we have witnessed the end of an ABCDE and that will be the, the bottom and silver is heading there. Okay, anything else that sends silver lower, uh, of course, will open up the possibility that it's either a second wave correction or, as I said, could be an elongated uh, E lag um, that could see it actually continue down for quite a few weeks. Okay, let's quickly go to the 60 minutes here and have a look. You see, my thinking is that if this is uh, an ABC, yeah, if this is an ABC, uh, there could be just tiny, tiny drop here. You see, I would imagine that this is actually a one, two, three, four, five that actually failed to take the bottom here. You see, uh, with me, that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's your A, uh, that's your ABC, so that's your B, and that's your one, two, three, four, just a spike, tiny, tiny, and then boom, come back. So that finishes the A, B, C on the hourly, and it's ready to run. Running about 17.3, the bull should feel quite comfortable. Okay, this is gold on the weekly scale, and the wave count that I prefer at this point in time is this uh, one, two, that's three, we're in a fourth wave. Okay, also here, I assume we're in a fourth wave. I evoked in previous videos uh, the possibility that we might be dealing with a big bang in the sense that that's going to be your A, A, B, C, D, E, that'll be your B, and that's the C complete. So you'll have an A, B, C. But for this to play out, we need to see a total crash of gold through the breakout zone that is marked here by the horizontal red lines. Okay, and we are not yet there. We look like, in my opinion, we are not going to go there. Uh, at this point in time, the decline is looking strictly uh, corrective. Okay, strictly corrective and strictly supportive of the bullish case. What can I say? Uh, you can see there is no nice five wave run down here. This is a whole bunch of uh, overlapping areas, which is the hallmark of corrective price action. So what do we do? Well, I think that's the best thing to do. We just go with this being one, two, three, four, until the market says, hey, you better have a rethink. This doesn't look quite, doesn't look quite fitting. Uh, and this is uh, the wave count that I would suggest we uh, use at this point. That is the daily. And I've got this as an A. That's a B. That's a C, D. We're going for the E leg. Alternatively, we could be working with this being an A. That's a B. That's one, two. That's three. That's your four. There is a slight problem there because the one couldn't end here because it's going to encroach onto the territory, territory of the one. But that is an alternative reading that I'm not very excited about. Uh, I'm more happy with uh, uh, treating this as an A, B, C, D, E, or alternatively, it could be actually an A, B, C, X, A, B, C, like that, okay? Um, so I remain a bull. The movements here are normal within the corrective phase of a bullish, a long-term bullish uh, movement. Um, Obviously, gold is much stronger than silver. Yes, you can just see the relative uh, price action. It's doing quite well. For gold to confirm the bottom is behind us, we really need to, to see a close uh, above 1,486.8.
okay let's see doing whatever it wants to do around here ideally it should hold above 1444 if that takes place it comes back it inches higher at some point it flies above this level we have the bottom behind us look for gold to shine again okay this is uh, gold priced in the end that's the monthly and you know that I've been using this chart on and off to support the bullish case because uh, what I see here is a genuine breakout that should still be taken as a as a solid structure pointing to higher grounds this is still looking great as a one two that's a three that's a fourth wave no problem whatsoever quite frankly this is looking just classic price action and no need to panic at this point it's just looking right what can i say look at this this is clearly corrective clearly corrective absolutely so if i take this as one two i have absolutely zero problem taking this as a three and what I've got here is a fourth wave. I can't say anything else. I'm just happy with it the way I'm showing it. And uh, we could dip slightly lower or spend a bit more time here to complete the E-leg. Uh, it could also be that the E-leg will finish early in the coming week and it's going to take off. But either way, what I see here is most likely corrective. Okay, you already got that point. That's an A, that's a B, that's a C, that's a D. What we have seen here was an ABC and we might need a few more days. It might actually drag on for quite a bit to finish the E-lag and then look up. So this chart is definitely supportive of the bulls and it's saying we are busy tracing basically a fourth wave. Hello, hope you enjoyed the clip. I'm back here with uh, some details about my service currently at 50% off for first time users. You need to go on uh, my website, the homepage is right here. It's uh, Wave Mastery, www at wavemastery.com. Yeah, point uh, Wave Mastery in one word, dot com. That takes you to the homepage. You can uh, scroll down, look through some things that I've written here, some recommendations from past users and current users. And that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first time subscribers. Okay, so there is the daily service, uh, daily videos that are preceded by trial. So you can take the trial for uh, one week. And at the end of that, if you're happy, you do nothing. You go on to the plan of um, half price, essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price. And that will be good for one year. That means uh, 12 um, payments of 79 uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos then you go for this one and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit uh, you know where things are moving because sometimes one week of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change especially if you're a short-term trader uh, you really want to know uh, what's happening so that is essentially the situation if you decide to go for example for the daily videos you uh, click here it takes you to the page where it explains to you, you should read that it explains to you what um, what is covered etc etc if you like what you read you click here subscribe it takes you to uh, PayPal uh, because of my uh, paying system is through PayPal and um, you pay through PayPal you can see you have the trial at $9.99 that's uh, for the first seven days as I said if you like what you see do nothing it just, it just goes automatically if you don't like you can cancel or if you don't know how to cancel or you have any doubt you have any question you can write to me of course uh, once you go through and you pay you come back uh, PayPal will send you back to my website uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details, uh, choose your login, and uh, once you do that, you will be led uh, automatically to the page with, uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date. If at any point in time in this process you have a problem, things are not going 
uh, as I'm describing to you right now, all you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out. Um, that is essentially it. So um, you'll have one week to look at things. I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts, why join? Yes, each of these articles uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to, to see um, how to relate to my website. But there is no substitute, in my opinion, to actually take a trial. You know, you take a trial, and I want to say another thing. You take a trial, and you can't make up your mind. You want more time to think. Fine, I understand that. Then you cancel, but then you are not allowed to take another trial. Please, I want to be very clear about that. There are people who abuse this, and it's really um, not right. Uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial, okay? A trial is a trial. But if you're interested, after you take a trial, you're interested to come back, you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year, but you have to write to me and then I will send you a special link without a trial. And, and, and if you join then, you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months. Okay. Uh, if you take another trial after you took already one, I am going to have to cancel that and refund you. And if you do that two or three times, I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here. Uh, use subscription. Once you, are, uh, once you are logged in, you will see this one highlighting you uh, uh, daily service videos or weekend service videos. Yeah, it will show which one you really um, um, have the right to, to access. The daily service videos, to be very clear, they cover the weekend service videos, okay? So you don't have to subscribe to both. The daily covers everything I do. The weekend, of course, is more selective. Now, I have here resources. There are chart galleries right here. Uh, chart one, two, three. There are plenty, plenty of chart, uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how I go about uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here. There, I covered a lot, a lot of markets and you can see there is history here. It could be very interesting for you to just go through, let's see, Platinum, for example. Yes, that's 1973 to 1978. If you click right on top where it shows you the hand, the chart opens up big. You can print it if you like. Um, here's an example of Platinum, April um, uh, 1980. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then the huge correction that followed after that. Uh, so they, there is plenty for you, whichever market you're interested, uh, interested in the financials, uh, commodities, precious metals, etc. Uh, okay, so that chart galleries, then useful links, as it as the name implies. Yes, recommended reading list. You have uh, a long list of uh, books here that I've read over the years. That I found very interesting. Of course, I have many more books that uh, I would like to add. It's just a question of time. I don't always have time to update this one. But the books that you find here uh, did help me in the beginning. And still, uh, the information here is very valuable in these books. For example, Kroll. I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Kroll. Stanley Kroll was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote... Um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general. I learned a lot from uh, from these books. And of course, uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, you should uh, get this book and read it. Uh, you will not regret. Uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders, I think, uh, have come across and read. It is very, very interesting. And uh, as you go down the list, you will see if there are things that are of interest to you. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead, get them. Some of them are in, even available online for free as a PDF. Uh, check that. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can even uh, contact me. Here's the contact us. And you uh, put your name. Please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, simple maths, submit. I get it you'll hear from me. I am based in Belgium. So if you write to me from Australia or from the US and I'm having uh, my rest,
do not be surprised if I don't react quickly, okay? Uh, normally within uh, within a day you will have a reply for me. I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly. So that's about it. Hope to see you visiting my website. Hope to see you taking a trial. Um, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me and uh, wishing you great trading week. Bye now.